Hello everyone, it's Lisa and I'd like to come on here to share the importance of uh, spiritual warfare prayers and how vital they are, especially in the times that we are in right now. Uh, we are so close to um, the return of our Lord here very soon with all of his warnings. And um, anyway, because of how imminent his return is, things are very very harshly ramping up, especially in the spiritual realm. Uh, we are we are more at risk of of the attacks being even more fervent and and just like nonstop. Um, but there is a way that we can defend and protect ourselves from the enemy and all of his uh, spiritual attacks and so forth. And uh, anyway, I just would like to read out some scriptures and prayers that could be incorporated in with them for our protection and, and uh, to help us to stand uh, in, these, in these last days. So there's a scripture, Job chapter 1 verse 10. Have you not made a hedge of, around him, around his household? And around all that he has on every side, you have blessed the work of his hands and his possessions have increased in the land. So a prayer you could say with that would be, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to keep the same hedge of protection around me, my family, my mind, my heart and emotions, as it is written in Job 1 verse 10. And another one that we can say is... Um, uh, Father, in, in Jesus' name, I ask you to encamp your powerful angels around me 24 hours a day. And that would go with scripture, Psalms 91.11, because it says there, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Um. Another scripture is Hebrews 1 verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation? So a prayer you could say for that would be, Father, in Jesus' name, I ask you to send a host of ministering angels. And you can ask to each, whoever it is that you want to send those ministering angels to, to help to minister our hurts, needs, pains, and infirmities, strengthening us in every way. Uh, another important thing, of course, because it is in Ephesians 6 verse 12 that we wrestle, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against spiritual uh, powers and principalities and so forth, right? So, um, what we can do is, it says here, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 through 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God. For pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. See, these spiritual principalities and stuff that we are fighting against, that is what is coming at us in our minds and trying to cause us to sin and go against God and to go against others and so forth. So we can say, uh, Jesus I ask you, or Father, sorry, I ask you in the name of Jesus to uh, bring my thoughts under obedience and captivity uh, as it is written in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. Another one is uh, Matthew 16, 19. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Now, as I was saying, we have these unclean spirits and, and principalities, powers, and so forth. 
and they have names. There's the the, uh, the different um, spiritual wickedness and things. You know, it's it's evil spirits of you know sickness, disease, pain, all those kind of things, right? And there's so much more. So a prayer that you could say for this would be. Uh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask uh, that, or I uh, sorry, I bind up every unclean spirit and assignment coming against me and my family, all my children. And then you can also continue on and extend that name off your friends, whomever you're praying for, for everybody. And then and then say from, by, or through anyone or anything named or unnamed, known or unknown, seven generations back. In the name of Jesus, I bind up the principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness and hosts in high places, and the prince of power of the air. In Jesus' name, I bind up the strong man, the old man, every prince and stronghold, the spirit of Antichrist, evil, spirits and plagues, the spirit of confusion, illusion, and delusion. In Jesus' name, I bind up the spirit of infirmity, sickness, disease, pain, addiction, affliction, calamity, the devourer, the destroyer, the accuser, the deceiver, the corrupter, and every spirit of poverty. In the name of Jesus, I bind up the spirit of strife and division, backbiting and gossip, critical and judgmental spirits, spirits of resistance and hindrance, every spirit of retribution, revenge and retaliation, and the lying, seducing, deceiving spirit of deception. In the name of Jesus, I bind up every root of fear, doubt, unbelief, discouragement, and every deadly sin from despair or to depression, the spirit of pride, rebellion, disobedience, self, ego, independence, suicide, unforgiveness, bitterness, lust, and flesh. And, and then you could also, to loose here on, on earth, you could say, the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you devil unclean spirits i loose in the name of jesus christ deliverance freedom and liberation peace joy hope gladness of heart love healing and wholeness mercy and grace blessings and favor restoration of the years that the locusts have eaten the resurrection power of Jesus Christ, a mighty harvest, and a boldness to witness for Christ. Amen and amen. So those are some prayers that you can say and, and do to, um, to come against and fight the enemy from doing the things that, that we are seeing very clearly going on worldwide. There's there's so many of these spirits in people that are causing this, this division and strife and anger and all of that stuff. So we bind it and we rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And, and we ask our Father to, you know, run interference. And those who are, are sick and are ill or have um, any diseases and, ask, and, and so forth. Ask him for complete healing and restoration of, of health. And, and it's very important, too, that when we are praying and asking the Lord these things, thank him for it afterwards and, and you know, say, and I thank you that you will do this, Lord, in your time according to your will. Believe what you're saying when, he's, when you're saying these words to him. Believe that he will come through and he will do it because he does. I can verify and I can attest to that. I, I made a video a while back. I prayed protection for my daughter. And uh, and he came through in a way I absolutely did not expect, but he did. And so just put your trust and your faith and belief in him that he has you. He has your family and he will answer your prayers 
and he will protect you. And if you find that you're in situations where you're talking with a loved one or family or spouse, whoever whoever it could be in your, in your situation, and you find that they are being belligerent or just being miserable or, you know, and you can tell that they have some spirit in them that's, you know, trying to drag you down and, and get you to, you know, to fall, basically. Call out to Jesus. Ask him to help you. I, I've found myself even, instead of engaging with somebody who's in that kind of state of mind or, or, is, or wants to, you know, be that way, there's nothing that you can do or say usually to to make it better. If anything, speaking up and saying anything just makes them more angry or egged on sometimes. And Jesus, a lot of times too, would say nothing. Sometimes he, the best thing that he did was to say nothing at all. And he would just stand there and be quiet because he knew there was nothing, there was nothing he could have said or done that was going to make the situation any better. So he just stood there in silence. And sometimes we we might have to just bite our tongues and not say a word. And instead, just in our minds, while whoever is coming at us, just talk to the Lord in your head and say, Lord, I can't do this. There's nothing I can do or say that's going to change the how, how I'm being treated right now. I need your help. Could you please deal with this for me? And, and say, you know, and thank you whenever this does take place. Thank you for handling it for me. And, and trust me, he does. I've been in that situation many times. And um, I just would not say anything because I knew there was no point. And then at a later point in time, that person would come around and everything would be calm and fine. And, and sometimes they would be like, I'm sorry. And, and then be like, okay. And then I just think in my head, Lord, you're awesome. Thank you. And I praise him and say, thank you. You did that because he put it on their heart to stop with it, what they were doing. So just trust in the Lord, believe that he will be there for you and he will help you. You have to remember and know God is not going to do everything at the snap of our fingers when we want it to happen. He will do it in his timing. His timing is always perfect. Remember that even if you have to wait a month or, or, or a week or however long it is, just, just be patient and trust that he is going to answer because he always does. And in most cases, he usually does it pretty well right away. So anyway, I hope I hope this helps. And if there's any more uh, prayers that um, you would like to try and figure out and learn, please go, go through the internet and that and, and look up uh, warfare prayers and so forth. There's lots of different um, areas there that you can go on and look at and read through that might speak out to you just to help you until you get comfortable and then you can just wing it and talk to him on your own because you're you're used to just having a conversation with him he, just give him your burdens give him your troubles lay, lay it at, at his feet and say you know what i i can't do this lord i this is for you here you take care of it for me and he does he's so great that way so read his word Pray every day. Talk to him every single day, all throughout the day and night. Just keep talking to him and just tell him how you feel. Be honest. If you're angry or you're mad or you're frustrated, then tell him. He already knows you are. Just confess it and say, look, I'm really frustrated. I need your help here. You Please release me and help me with this. And he will. He's always faithful to answer us, okay? So... Have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you next video. Bye-bye.